Hello friends, welcome back to the new session. Today we are going to learn about how to create a pop-up with the pop-up maker in the WordPress. And it's a best practice to get your users engaged the website. So whether you want to create a pop-up of offer or pop-up of signups, so you can create them easily. So let's get started. First of all, you'll need to go to your WordPress dashboard and from the dashboard go to the plugins add new and just write here pop-up maker and here we have this plugin and you can see as well it's by Power Maker and it has 70,000 plus active installation last updated two weeks ago so just install this plugin and activate this one so here we have the welcome notification so you can create your first pop-up from here or you can go to here and down the comments you will see like pop maker just click here and you can view this tour as well or you can skip this one and here we have this plugin interface here we have pop-ups pop-up themes and I have pro version here here create new pop-up create new pop-up theme so let's create a new pop-up here just click here or open a new tab so here you need to give it a name for example it's a sign up pop up so just give it name sign up and here we have the paragraph area and here you can see we have pop up maker shortcodes pop up trigger pop up close button pop up cookie and pop -up subscription form so from here we will create a form here we have general settings, form, privacy, actions and in general just like default in the form tab we have fields, labels, placeholders, appearance the name field type you can select full, first only or first and last so I just select first only here and in the label you can display the labels as well or you can change the labels name as well and the placeholders you can give it the name what should be visible here for the users and here we have appearance the last option here so you can change the form layout from block to inline and form alignment center left right and here we have form style so here we don't have any option none default so just let it be and then we have your privacy tab so you can play around with them as well but better not to change them last step we have actions here here we have pop up close pop up so here we can give your time after how many seconds it should close so you can select it's up to you here we have open pop up so it's showing nothing here because we haven't created yet here you also can redirect the customers or users like enable refreshing the page or redirecting after success so if you check here then you can paste your url here like when users will subscribe your pop up then they will redirect to this URL. So just close this one and just save here. So after saving the settings, we have this form. Here have name, email, and notify me about related content and special offers. Just yes and no. And after that, subscribe. So here you can create the subscription form like this. And here you can also give give the text as well. For example, this is a sign up form. Just write here sign up. Make this heading one. And select all. And select all. Just make alignment center. And from here, you can add the media as well if you have a picture. So you can add from here. For example, if I want to give this one.
and you see here just make the center as well after that we have here power settings and first we have triggers triggers cause the pop-up to open so we will add new trigger what kind of trigger do you want so from here we will want time delay or auto open so here you can choose this action as well stop showing pop-up once visitor text this action like on pop-up close on pop-up open so we will just select from here on pop-up close and just add this one here so here we have the time delay so you can select the time delay so delay before the pop-up will open in milliseconds so you can choose the time delay whatever you like here so it will 7000 millisecond okay so just add here so here we already created the triggers and the second tab we have targeting choose a condition to target your pop-up to specify content or various other segments here we need to select the area of our website where we want to show our pop-up so mostly so mostly it appears on the home page just select this home page from here or if you want then you can choose any other page as well here you can disable on this mobile device and disable on the tablet devices as well so if you don't want to show there so you can just check these two as well and we have display tab here so you can select from here how your pop-up will show up to your visitors like center right bottom and the top and the left bottom maybe the center will be good and here we have appearance default theme is okay and here you can change the size of a pop-up and here we have the animation type you can select the type as well fade slide fade slide fade and slide just select maybe fade and slide animation speed maybe the default one is okay top center and sounds here and you can select the sound from here or you can give your custom sound as well just paste the url here so we just select the correct and here we have position so top center will be better and advance so you can play around with them as well and here we have the close tab the button from submission in the close button we can change the name of the button close to something else like done or no need so it's all up to you and here we have form submission so if someone will submit the form then it will be automatically closed and here we have alternate methods so you can select from here as well like overlay to close skip to close f4 to close okay we have here advanced tab so you can play around with them as well so we are done here with the pop-up settings so when you are also done here then just publish it from here If you go back and just refresh this page so here we have already created a sign up pop-up and we go to the home page of website and refresh we have selected the delay time up to almost 8000 millisecond almost like 8 8 seconds so after the 8 seconds it, it has appeared here so you can see here here we need to give a name email and notify then just subscribe or you can simply close this one as well and that's it so we are done here today so in this way you can create the pop-up easily in your wordpress website i hope you found it easy so if you found this easy just like this video and subscribe this channel and thanks for watching.